Hi, Mike Gould here, Mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth, and host of Houndstown Television. Today, we're at the Smithtown Animal Shelter, broadcasting to see what's going on behind the scenes. By the way, this statue here is a statue of my former police canine partner, Smitty, named after the Smithtown Animal Shelter. So tune in to Houndstown TV, follow us on Facebook, HoundstownUSA.com. Hear the story about Smitty, the hero police, NYPD police dog, and see what's going on behind the scenes at the Smithtown Animal Shelter. See what's new. Thank you. Welcome to Houndstown Television. I'm your host, Mike Gould, uh, affectionately known as the mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth. So this show is devoted to humans and animals and how we live our lives together and cohabitate together. Uh, today, I have the really fortunate opportunity to visit the Smithtown Animal Shelter. And I have a special place in my heart for Smithtown Animal Shelter. In 1982, I adopted my first police canine from the lovely great folks at the Smithtown Animal Shelter. Over the years, there's been different administrations, different political scenarios, et cetera, et cetera. So Houndstown Charity, our charitable part for, uh, of Houndstown USA, our mission is to visit shelters throughout the state, throughout the country, and in fact, throughout the world. And we try to do whatever we can to assist folks who are trying to move their program forward. And I can tell you, last week I was so excited. We had uh, Deputy Chief McPadden, uh, Councilwoman, Councilwoman Lohman, is that how I say it? Councilman Lohman, got the names, genders mixed up, and Councilwoman Lisa Inzarello. And they, she, they were fantastic people. And believe me when I say this, I, just like with dogs, I sense an energy. And, and an optimism and hope. So when Houndstown Charity visits di various different uh, shelters, whether they're private or municipal, sometimes they don't, they lack the energy necessary, the spirit to move their program forward. And rarely are all the stars aligned, meaning the politicians, the administrators, the volunteers. Uh, and today I'm really excited to introduce some of the staff members at the Smithtown Animal Shelter who for the past month I've been interacting with. And I cannot tell you how heartwarming it is to see a, a program re-energized. Uh, and we don't look in the past, we, look from the, we live in the present and see our goals for the future. So there's no bad people, there's no bad dogs, but people sometimes get sidetracked and they don't move their program forward. Last week we spoke to the uh, council men and women Oh, I just lost my co-host. Did I get a chance to even introduce him? Canito. Difficult talent. Um, he's off for a dog biscuit. So with that said, without any further ado, Houndstown Television is proud to introduce to you Animal Control Officer Denise Vibal, Vibal, Vibal and lead staff member Kathy Gilio. Gilio. Gilio, okay. So welcome to our show. Thank As you, I you. said in the introduction and in last week's show, this, it, 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 the puzzle has to be complete. So you can have politicians, really, that are fully invested in a program, and you can have administrators that aren't, you can have volunteers, and you can have staff. Almost in all shelters I meet and meet folks, there's a, not everybody is on the same page. And I was so pleased to you know, come here and participate and listen to what's happening here at the shelter. That hasn't happened in the past. As I said, I've been coming to this shelter for 32 years before you guys were born. And, uh, you know, it, it, people come and go, directors come and go. Uh, what's happening here that's really injecting this new life at the shelter, would you say? Well, last February, we 
got new administration, Chief John Valentine and Deputy Chief Kevin McCadden took over, and they just really given us the tools to do what we needed to do and allowed us to reach out to yourself and implement these programs to get this shelter moving forward and on the right track. Right. So, Kathy, you've been here for a while. Yes. How, how long have you been? 20 act, years. 20 years. Yes. God almighty, you look like you're, when did you start when you were two? <laughs> um, so, so 20 years. So, like me, you've seen the evolution. You've seen people mm -hmm. come and go. So, I, you could probably relate to my feelings about it. I always come into this with a skepticism, like, you know, I've been there, done that. I've been told this. I've been promised everything. And I, and, and I always come in with somewhat of a pessimistic attitude because you've been here for 20 years. Yes. You've seen several directors, several different entities. But you, I think, share right now today the optimism that I share, that the Smithtown Animal Shelter is going to be a premier shelter on Long Island. It's everything that they say they're going to do, the chief, the deputy chief, they do. They are they tell us they're going to get us something, they get it, you know. Absolutely. And I, I, I agree and I feel it. They were here yes. last week. They are very open to progressive thinkers. And that's what the dog world needs, actually, is progressive thinkers. we got to get away from the old uh, and, and in with the new. So with that said, Denise, you're an animal control officer. Correct. So, and you've been working at the shelter now for? Uh, only a little over a year. Okay. So what has your experience been, you know, so far? Do you share optimism or? Absolutely. I, in the past, I have worked for the town. And when the, they came in and uh, the new administration came in, usually town, sometimes things are a little bit slow, but this one, they came in gangbusters. Mm -hmm. They've done, like Kathy said, everything that they said they were going to do and more. So it's been really exciting to be on board in this uh, It is. That's a good time. word. It is exciting because, you know, if you guys, you know, Kathy, 20 years, I've been doing this for 35 years, you know, you kind of get beaten down after a while because shelters, municipal and private, there's a lot of emotion at these shelters. You can't help it, right? So, so I, I do share that. What is the shelter? What do you think, or what are your goals for the Smithtown Animal Shelter? So the people out there looking and listening and say, you know, they might have been here two years ago, five years ago. They hear stories on Facebook, and I want to address that for a minute. I did last week. I want to do it again. It's easy to sit home at nine o'clock at night and punch away on your computer and be toxic and dispel all kinds of things that aren't true. One of the things that I, I need to make sure that there's transparency here in the shelter and, and all the, the folks that were here last week promised that, meaning you can't give people an opportunity to wonder what's going on. You have to put it out there. So in my business, Houndstown USA, it's all transparent. We don't have little deep, dark secrets. We don't lock dogs in basements. It's out there. And I would say to the folks listening, watching, call me personally. I'll invite you to my facility where in our facility right now, we have a town of Hempstead dog, a town of Brookhaven dog. And rather than speculate and visualize and listen, and as I said, this toxic energy, there's no room for it. We want energy. Come down and do things. Be part of the solution, not the problem. Negativity is the, and, and very frankly, it, on behalf of the dogs, you need optimism. And on behalf of the dogs, we need energy, positive energy. And when there's positive energy, the dogs will, will associate with that. So tell me some of the programs that you'd like. What do you want to see happening? I know you have a volunteer program. Yeah, we have a pretty progressive adoption program as well. The volunteer program is work in progress. We're working with the volunteers. I mean, first and foremost is to meet the needs of the animals to the best right. of our ability. That's First and foremost, we have a pretty extensive trap neuter release program for the feral cats in the town of Smithtown. Yeah, as an animal control officer, me as well as our, our uh, team of great staff, we go if we, we find a feral colony that's in people's backyards or in parking lots, we go, we, we trap them, we set them up with uh, vet appointments, we spay them, we, we do whatever we need to do, and then we release them back. So. That program's doing really, really well. We did well over 300 last year. And it's nice, it's uh, to no um, fee for the town of Smithtown resident. So, and we're actually gonna expand that program 
which is what? There's no fee. The fee is free. Oh, it's free. 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 It's free. 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 Yeah. There is no fee. Free. There is and no I, fee. Now, here's what I, I will also say. After this, in the second segment, we're actually going to go around and see what's happening here at the shelter. Because trust me when I tell you, when I endorse something or somebody, I'm putting my reputation in, in, on the line. And I wouldn't be here. I am a volunteer, by the way. I don't get a penny for anything, and I don't want it. Uh, so it's important if I say something that people believe what I'm saying. So with that said, it's important for me. I wouldn't be associated with any organization that is, uh, quote unquote, shady or something that's lacking or abusive. It just wouldn't happen. It can happen for me. And that's important for the community to know. The, there's, the people here are wonderful people. Whether everybody's doing everything exactly the way I would do it, of course, I have my opinions, which I'm, I'm sharing with the shelter. And, and, and that, as Kathy said, the bottom line is the animals. Every decision I make, every penny of money I spend is for the animals and to get them out. And we're going to see later on some really cool dogs that are up for adoption. They're very kind of fortunate there's not a big dog population here, but I understand you have a pretty big cat population. Yes. So, so you have your no fee. So people can come down. Do you do some kind of background check? Like if so, so if somebody wants a cat, what's the process? For the cat adoption, you can. We fill out an application. You know, we do a we do a veterinary check. Um, the adoption fees are they're nominal, and we actually for special needs cats, see all senior animals, all special needs animals, we waive fees. So okay. that's something going forward that. We've implemented. Are they vetted out? Obviously, you're not going to adopt a sick. Uh, oh yes, yes. Everything. Everyone is spayed, neutered, vaccinated, whatever vaccines is appropriate at that age and for species. Microchipped, uh, tested for feline right. leukemia (FIV) or heartworm tested in the case right. of dogs. Uh, they we run stool samples. We use monthly flea and tick right. prevention on them. So, yeah. so to me, it's a pretty comprehensive. I mean, you want a pet. A pet. I don't know much about cats. I got to put that out there. I understand the dog brain, the cat brain. It, I don't understand. So if you want a pet, and these wonderful folks, there, they want the do the cats and dogs out of here and homed in a place that it's going to just receive love. It's that simple. You don't need to build a, a, any kind of an addition to your house. Just come down, see Kathy, see Denise. They will uh, set you up with a cat. Or dog. Yes. Uh, we're going to break. I want to thank you folks for coming in today. It was really nice, and I am inspired. We're going to follow up. As I said, I've, my heart's been broken before, so I'm feeling the energy. The folks out there should know that you guys are all on this. We're going to cut for a break, and then we're going to see really what's happening behind the scenes here at the Smithtown Animal Shelter. We'll do a little 60 minutes, kind of sneak up on some people here and see <laughs> what's good. happening. Let's see what's happening. Thanks, folks. We'll see you after the commercial. Hi, Mike Gould here, mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth. We have fully interactive doggy daycare, safe and secure overnight camping, professional grooming, expert training for your dog. Come. Don't leave your pet home alone. Have a happy and well-exercised dog with a visit to Houndstown, USA. Visit us online at houndstownusa.com for a location near you. Call today, tell them the mayor sent you get a free trial day. Hi, Mike Gould here, mayor of Houndstown, USA, home to the happiest dogs on earth. I have the absolute pleasure today. Houndstown TV is broadcasting from the Smithtown Animal Shelter here on Smithtown, Long Island. Uh, and I couldn't be happier to introduce a volunteer, a volunteer, volunteers at time. And this is what's really heartwarming to me, that people from the community volunteer to come down and move dogs that are misunderstood. So I'm also going to introduce Hennessy. Hennessy is misunderstood. She's actually Hennessy, I believe. First, say hello to everybody, Dawn. Hello, everybody. So Dawn, Dawn <laughs> Ferrigno, like Lou Ferrigno. Exactly. Okay. No relation. No relation. So Hennessy here, so she has taken a personal interest in, 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 uh, in Hennessy. What's Hennessy's background? Well, Hennessy actually um, grew up in a home. She lived there for two years. She actually lived there with kids. And then the people, they were moving, and they decided that they couldn't bring Hennessy with them, so they brought her here. That's right. And she's been here how long now? About two years. 
Right. So she's been here two years. Of course, there's always this breed stereotype that we at Houndstown USA, of course, disregard this concept that it's it's whatever she is, a boxer mix, pit bull mix. We don't care. We worry about the dog brain. So uh, Dawn has been nice enough to volunteer, put up with me for the last five weeks. And if you would have saw this dog, and this is not my idea. This is this is not theoretical. This is an observation. Hennessy had problems with people, men particularly. She'd overreact. She was triggered by the presence of men. Right now, we're sitting here. Obviously, there's men here videoing us. I have. I'm a man. Uh, that's arguable, I guess, by some people. But I'm here. And Hennessy's here. So the point is, Hennessy needs a home. It doesn't need a palatial estate. It doesn't need to live with an animal behaviorist. She is triggered by certain things. I'm triggered by certain things. I'm food motivated. I'm triggered by a Big Mac. Hennessy is triggered by movement and the presence of strangers. When she's safe and secure, as she is right now, safe and secure, she's in the loving hands of Dawn, Dawn is learning how to manage it. So at Houndstown Charities, we don't talk about training dogs. We train humans, like Dawn, to react to the various behaviors of a dog, who this case, this dog, up until a month ago, had a death sentence, until Dawn came along and spends her volunteer time to come here and work out the issues with, uh, with Hennessy. What's the most, well, first of all, frankly, What's your attraction to this dog? Well, she is very, very affectionate. That's the one thing about Hennessy. You could get down, she loves to play with toys, and she'll look up your face. And she she really, when she looks at you, and she, she wants to be with you. I mean, this is the kind of dog that, if you want a dog that'll, like where you can watch TV, and they'll eat a bone, and just relax, and come up to you and give you love, this is that dog. And the fact that she was so loving and so sweet, and she had a home, and she was fine in the home. Right. So what's your hope for her? You've dedicated, really, and I commend you for the dedication you've put into this. What is your hope for Hennessy? I want her to get another home. I want her to find loving pet parents or pet parents to take her home and give her the love and care that she deserves because she's a good dog and she is she'll make someone very happy right in which i completely agree but we also do understand that dogs brains and behaviors need to be managed correctly you have to understand the triggers once you understand what triggers the dogs you just make sure you don't expose them to that triggers or you desensitize them to those triggers so we're sitting here in the training room here again at the smithtown animal shelter we have activity all over the place five weeks ago this dog would have been lunging at this uh, glass window here uh, so this is it a du- it's never a done deal it's always an evolution human behavior animal behavior it's a work in progress but to the right person who understands this dog not dogs in general this dog you could have one of the best companions of your life with the help of folks like Dawn, who will tell you about her and demonstrate. This is not theoretical. And the Smithtown Animal Shelter is making leaps and bounds in addressing these issues. So thank you, Dawn Ferrigno. Thank you, Hennessy, the wonder dog. That's right. Right. Okay. So, yeah, please, folks, visit us on our Facebook page, Houndstown USA, and uh, come down to the shelter, and you'll not, you don't have to wonder what's happening here. You can some, see, meet some of the incredible people that are volunteering their time uh, and doing the right thing. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the story about my canine partner, Smitty, and all the wonderful things that are happening here at the Smithtown Animal Shelter. Follow us on Facebook. We're taking our show on the road. We'll be visiting shelters, rescues. This is a show about dogs and the people who care for them. So keep follow us on Facebook. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.